Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. I found a couple new Hot Wheels Snap Rides models. Here we have Fig Rig. There's Fig Rig. Comes with, check out the driver. The driver has like a shark engine. Pretty cool. He only has one engine. Only, only one insert for that part. It looks like we got a roof for Fig Rig. You see that black thing up on top? Two sets of wheels. And look, this time they put the name right on the package. Look, they put Fig Rig right on the package. With the uh, first issues, I don't think they had the name. Remember? Because we had to figure out what was the name of the cars. And here's the other one, 24-7. This car has a lot of fans, so I'm sure uh, fans of 24-7 are going to want to pick it up. And look, he has two inserts for the engine and driver. Oh, he has a cap too. I wonder why. And look, he's got two sets of wheels. I wonder why this one only has a one insert. Oh, this guy has this piece right here to make it uh, make it a, a high a high riding vehicle. Yeah, sure enough, you can see right there. You can make them like a uh, big monster truck. Get, you can lift them up right here. They got him with his roof. Look, the, one of the wheels. You can give him a high raker look. Bone shaker. He's from the first one. Uh, was that the one? That, I don't remember if that was. No, that's that guy over there. Here's the funny, hello, here's a funny car. This big truck, I did a review on them. I'll pop up a little card for you, you want, if you wanna see that video of the review of the truck. For this video, we're just gonna take a look at these two models right here and see how they compare to their Hot Wheels basic car counterparts. The nice thing about snap rides is you can mix and match your parts. Here's, here's my bone shaker that I made out of parts from the first one. Look, I gave him a high raker look in the back. I got the uh, bone shaker model here. You can probably still find them uh, where they're regularly sold. I put on a closed roof. And look, I, I used the driver that was for the truck. So and when you put them on the other models, look, it's like he's coming up out of the hood. And it's a crazy driver jumping up, out of, jumping up out of the hood. Let's have a look at this interior part that came with 24-7. He, he looks like an ape. Got a big old head, big body, you know. Maybe he's a gorilla. Very nice looking piece. And the other one, the other one is like a deep sea diver. Look, he's got on his uh, deep sea diver mask. And look, the motor is actually like an oxygen generator. Hey, so if you want to take 24 seven under the water, this is the guy you want to drive because uh, he can drive underwater. He's got his own oxygen, oxygen tank. Here's a sample of a regular Hot Wheels 24 seven. He has this low front bumper here, which kind of uh, gives him problems in the uh, loops. But here is this version. Look, they don't uh, they don't have it there. I wonder I wonder if this guy will work better in the loops than the regular Hot Wheels version. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the, the the side designs. As you can see right here, look, it has these indentations right here, just like the regular 24/7. On the roof, you can see an indentation as well, both models. Let's check out their spoilers in the back. Yeah, they're both closed. I didn't realize that, that the 24-7 had a closed spoiler. This one has a closed spoiler too. Tail pipes. Hey, everything looks the same. Now this one, the uh, window's closed. The window's open on that side. Have a look at the front. But you, but you know what this 24-7 can do that this one can't? How about become a convertible? Look at that. There's your dude. Now I can go out for a little drive in California. Enjoy the sun. Actually, you guys have sun all over the world. I shouldn't just, I shouldn't just say California. Everybody's got sun. I decided to put on the lace wheels for my first design. Give them the, the nice regular look. Except for that big engine coming out. But uh, otherwise, you know what I mean, like a regular car. Let me go ahead and get the other wheels on. There you go. I gave them what's called a high raker look. It's a uh, break up in the back. And, and you have to use those wheels if you're going to give it a high raker look. You can't put, it's not like a Lego block to where you have a little block that goes in between. The, the block that lifts it up, it's all put together. You can't, you can't take this apart. Or if you want to, if you be, want to be one of those guys with those uh, lifted cars, you can just take it apart, take your thing off. There you go. I got to put back together, put them on there. There you go. Now he's got like a big monster truck, truck kind of look. Well, that was 24-7. Let's take a look at Fig Rig. Shock, look out, shock attack. Yeah, look, he's got a little shark as his motor. Pretty cool if you like sharks. 
I know there's a lot of toys with sharks, especially Hot Wheels. There's a lot of there's Shark Cruiser. There's Hot Wheels sharks. Plus they have play sets. I've done some videos on some shark play sets as well. Let's go ahead and get him put together. While I am getting him put together, you can take a look at this Hot Wheels fig rig. This is a regular basic Hot Wheels. Check it out. They have the studs or the posts right here. And that's where you can put your Lego minifigures. That's why Mattel called them fig rig because you can put figures on him. I'll let you have a look at all the sides. Yeah, that's why fig rig's kind of a neat model. You can take uh, two different hobbies. You can like Lego. You can like Hot Wheels. And then you can get your the two and you can combine them. Put your minifigures. Check out my clown car. I got, I got a bunch of clowns on here. They're all one guy hanging onto the back, one guy driving, and uh, the other guy lost his head. Now, Fig Rig isn't the only Hot Wheels model to where you can use a mini fig. There's also Let's Go. Now, both these cars you can find. You can still find them from time to time. This is 2015. You can still find them on the pegs from time to time. And this one here, you. All he does, you can put a driver. You can look. I got my ninja. You can have your ninja sitting in there, like you've got a little uh, in, a, in a little go kart. Uh, or if you got a bad boy, one guy doesn't put his hands on the wheel, dude, that's not safe, you know. I put them together so he would be low to the ground. Let's compare him to the other fig rig. Got the same grill in the front. Looking at the sides, yeah, very similar. There's like two circles right here. And then these lines, two circles, lines. These are tucked under a little bit, whereas this is straight up and down. Hey, look, we got little lights on the side, lights on the side. Look in the back. Yeah, very, very good. The other thing is that this uh, regular fig rig, it's a, it has an indent and it has these here. There's no more. Look, this one, instead of these uh, bumps for the motors, you got your uh, shark motor. Another cool thing with this one, look, you get a roof. No, so now fig rig gets fig rig gets a gets a roof. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Let me get my parts ready to raise him up. I don't know why I put him on the spinner. You already seen him spinning around. There's all the sides. Now there, remember there was another part. There was another part with the uh, with the the base was taller, so you can lift him up. Let's go ahead and see if I can pop these off. Oh, I'm going to have to take the whole thing apart. Take off these wheels and the base. You stay there. Now I have my, uh, now I have this part here. I did it wrong. Look what I did. Well, that's supposed to be like that. The wheels are supposed to be on that side. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my wheels put together on the base. Now I'm going to put the base. It's easier to do it like this because then you got your interior laying right there in the in the right spot now we're going to line up our circles put it right there snap it together that's why i call them snap right you snap it together oops what happened there you go look big old monster truck now you got your monster truck fig rig very nice well yeah remember i told you it has a roof right let's take off the roof take off the roof and hey let's get our uh, ninja right fig it's fig rig right Let's get our ninja, and we're going to put the, uh, uh, we're going to put the, uh, hey, wait a second. They call it fig rig, and you can't even put a figure on it. That's not right. Why did it, that looks okay as a car, but why did, why did they pick fig rig? Why couldn't they pick another car? Because fans of fig rig are going to buy this model thinking, hey, I'm going to put my Lego minifigures on there. No, you're not can't they took away the post or the studs maybe i can have them flying off the back but i don't think that's what people want i don't think that that's what fans of fig rig want when, when they buy this model they're not buying them to put the guy back here like this they want to put him at they want to put him as a driver they don't want to put him hanging off the back now i'm disappointed i don't know why they did that Mattel, they got the hundreds and hundreds of models why they have to pick this one now, kids are going to buy this thinking, oh, they can use the fig rig, can use it with their uh, figures. That's what it's for. Oh, well. So, I'm letting you know, don't buy this if you're expecting to put it with your minifigures, unless you want them hanging on like this. I did reviews on everything so far. If you didn't get to see the big rig, 
And uh, actually, I also did, uh, I checked out uh, Fig Rig on the track. So I have videos in the description or they're up in the cards. Click on the cards and you can check out my other Lego. Oh yeah, I do Lego minifig unboxing too. Where do you think I, where do you think I got all of these Lego, Lego minifigures? It's because uh, I did some sealed case unboxing videos of the minifigs. Yeah, 160 or 60, I forgot. 60, I think there's 60 bags in a box. Those are up in the cards too. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your toys. No, have fun with your toys. Not enjoy your toys. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.